EA Sports brings you a special edition of the National Football League for this Halloween matchup. It's the Baltimore Ravens and the Philadelphia Eagles under the lights on Thursday night. We're just a stone's throw from the Delaware River. We've got some water to contend with ourselves. A steady rain falling at Lincoln Financial Field. Welcome again, everybody, with Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gunn, and yes, the rain is falling now, and it is supposed to continue to fall throughout this Their game. Their games, so two, one against the Niners, the Ravens, one against the Chargers. One and all, walking in here tonight. Big time game, Halloween night. In the rain. Second thing is the focus of all the guys who handle the football. Do they wear gloves? Do they take them off? Will they carry the ball high and tight to make sure they have good ball security? That's paramount in a game like this. Justin Tucker set to boom this one away. And off we go from Lincoln Financial Field. And able to take it past the 25 and up to the 28-yard line. Out come the Eagles for the first time, and the man in charge at quarterback in his fifth year now, Jalen Hurts. He's coming off the season where he certainly experienced his fair share of ups and downs. On the positive side, he threw for career highs in passing yards and touchdowns. On the negative side, he threw the most interceptions in his career, and his team struggled and collapsed down the stretch. If he can get back to playing mistake-free football without sacrificing his aggressiveness, this team can get back to competing for a Super Bowl berth. They run with a dangerous Saquon Barkley. A short gain here, maybe a yard to the 29. No doubt about it, a really nice job there by the defense, not allowing him to get to the perimeter. But that means your defensive ends, your outside linebackers, the guys that you pay big money to to sack the quarterback, they also have to have interest in the running game as well. And they did a nice job there of holding the point of attack and not giving ground. Hurts sets up to throw it. Yeah. And he has a big gain inside the 40 before being dropped. Big yardage there on the scramble. It gets him a first down. Well, that turned out better than most of the passes he could have thrown on that snap. The coverage downfield was excellent, but the containment close to home left him a backdoor escape, and they paid dearly for not locking up. Throwing his hurts. And that one drops down incomplete. Good coverage there, forced the ball free, and it's second down. As this old brain remembers, when I see five wide receivers on the field as a defender, I know the ball's coming out hot. They expected it and got there and popped it free. Here's second and ten. Hurts. And he'll get this underneath, dropping it off for Barkley. They do get a couple, but they'll be left staring at a third and eight coming up. Well, offensively, that's the mismatch that you want. You want to force a linebacker to try and cover your back out of the backfield, out in some open space. But linebackers nowadays, they run like backs, and they take a lot of pride in covering. What a nice play he made there in the open field. Throwing from the gun, it's Hurts. Oh, look at the juke. And he's going to be taken down with the first down at the Ravens' 25-yard line. They pick up 12 on the play there, and they move the chains. He's a talented runner, and that means he's always looking for bigger and bigger gains when he takes off. Certainly found some bonus yards there beyond the first down marker, and this early drive will continue with that extra jolt from his legs. Here's Hurts to throw. This one goes out wide for Barkley. They'll give him four yards there, and it's second down. And they're getting him involved early. You feel like they saw something on tape, or they just have a sense with him because he's had a good week of practice or something in that area, that they want him involved, just as you said. They want him to touch it either in the running game or the passing game, but they must like the matchups they're getting.
from the 22. Hurts. He finds him again. Saquon Barkley. And he'll get him inside the 15 down to the 14-yard line. Seven yards there and a first down. But they certainly made a point of getting him involved in the passing game here in the first half. They must have seen something in the scouting that said, hey, we can capitalize on him getting the ball possibly in the open field. And I think in the second half, that may loosen up the defense a little bit to get the running game going back inside. Barkley hit in the ball, pops three. Oh, and one of the linebackers has got it. So a first quarter fumble in the rain, and this isn't supposed to let up. They've had flash flood warnings just west of here, so they better get used to this. And it's hard to do real early in the game because you're so amped up and you're trying to do so much. He's got to get used to it, though. You've got to focus in on the ball, make sure you're taking care of it. That one cost him. So here's the first drive for the Ravens, and at the helm is the 2023 NFL Most Valuable Player. Second such time he's won the award, Lamar Jackson. And he's coming off a season where he showed everyone that he's worth every single penny he was given. He now has two MVP trophies on his resume and was on the verge of adding a Lamar Hunt trophy to go with it. Unfortunately, things didn't work out in his favor, but make no mistake about it. He's truly one of the most electrifying players in the NFL. As long as he's the man under center, they'll always be in championship conversation. In motion right is Aguilar. Now Jackson taps this forward, jet sweep. And he will take this up to about the eight yard line. Credit him with a one yard gain there to make it second and nine. A nice play design there with the touch pass. Looked good at the start, but bottom line, the defense was ready. And they did a nice job scouting, didn't they? Not just scouting, but now executing once they saw the play for real after having worked on it all week in practice. They drilled on the play, then they drilled him. A short throw caught by Andrews. Calling a gain of three on the play. And now third down and six to go. I think defensively, you're okay with that. You're in the first quarter. He's going to get some catches, but they rallied to him quickly. And that's what you count on, and I like what you just said. First quarter, can you do it all game long? They catch it, you tackle them, they go down on the spot. Because when you're able to do that, and you don't give up big chunks of yardage after the catch, now you put the offense in a position where every series, they have to work hard to pick up first downs, and you tend to stall them out when you do that. And he gets this one just shy of the 35 to the 34. That's good for a first down, his second catch of the opening drive. After getting that turnover on the first drive of the game, you'd hate to just stall out the momentum, go three and out. They're able to avoid that there. Yeah, we talk about complimentary football all the time, but I think it's a little bit deeper than that. Defense went out, forced a turnover, gave the ball to the offense. It's now the offense's responsibility to pay that off for them to show respect to him. Hey, you guys got the turnover? <laughs> we appreciate it. They want to continue their drive. They'll send a tight end in motion right. Now a first carry for Derrick Henry. And he'll fight forward on the straight ahead running for just a couple of yards, second down. Certainly a nice job there by the defense rallying to the football and getting him on the ground. But I think the play gets made by the defensive front because if they can't get upfield, their job is to go ahead and get low, almost get into a ball sometimes, stack things up, and make it difficult for the runner to find a hole. Second down, they go again with Henry. And he's dropped right at the 40. Gain of three. Just not a whole lot of room to operate there on that carry. No, not at all. They did a really nice job staying in their proper places and not allowing any lanes to open up. Here is third down and four. From the gun, it's Jackson. That is caught. And he's going to get this all the way down inside the 35. A gain of 26 on the third down conversion. Really a solid start here on the opening drive, Charles. He's now 4-4, and they're already in plus territory. Brandon, he's been so precise to start this game. Like we're watching an operation taking place right now. Master Surgeon at work. So from Philadelphia territory now, here's a first and 10 at the 34. Henry up the middle. And he'll fight forward on the straight ahead running for just a couple of yards, second down. 
You've got to be impressed by that defensive front on reps like those. They were not being moved off the line, kept their shoulders square, and gave their teammates time to fight to the ball and limit that game. This is second and eight. To throw is Jackson. Looking for Bateman. He's got him complete. And he has another first down as he'll get the ball down to the Eagles 21. 12 yards to pick up there. Good for a Raven first. Really been an ideal start for them. They get the turnover on the opening possession. Now here they are moving the ball straight down the field on their first drive. And that feels good, but you know on their side of the field all they're thinking is finish this drive off because they took it away, right? So now you've got them back on their heels a little bit. Now go down, put a touchdown on them. Look out, you've won the mental battle early in the game, and that may carry over for you. And yeah, they'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. Nice rhythm throw there on first down. He located his tight end, made it a nice, easy pitch and catch. Hoping he could break a tackle or two. Wasn't able to do that there, but still good yardage. Second and a couple. They'll bring one of the tight ends in motion left. Back to the ground now. It's Henry. And he'll be taken down here at about the 11. Two yards on the carry there, and it's going to lead him to third down. Whenever we talk about the best strong safeties, one word constantly comes up, and that's instincts, being able to diagnose run or pass and make the appropriate moves. He crashed down hard there. He was ready for that running play. He's not going to get there. That won't even be close. It was blown up in the backfield. This defense not budging. Back-to-back -back carries of just two yards. So great play there, obviously, because of the loss. We had your free safety coming up to make the tackle. Great observation because one of the cliches is that every defensive coach tells us, in run defense, we need all 11 to the ball in order to handle it. Well, how often does the free safety begin dropping into the box? Not very often. So he did a nice job diagnosing and getting involved. They'll run for it with Henry. And he picks up the first as he's able to take it down to the seven-yard line. Well, we kind of looked at each other as they decided to go for it, but in the end, great execution, a six-yard gain, and it all works out. Remember, that was fourth and a full two yards. There's a big difference between that and fourth and maybe six inches or a yard. Yeah, you're exactly right, because when it's that six inches, you just fall forward and you pick it up, right? You just go quarterback sneak. Diving for the end zone, and the ball's knocked out. And he will force his way into the end zone for a Ravens touchdown. Now this feels like something we'd see more commonly, CD, in a college game. They give it to the receiver down here in the red zone, but it winds up successful. Yeah, partner, I think you think it's less likely to find running space to the edge down here close to the end zone where things are so condensed. But a lot of times you end up focusing on the running backs and they're able to slip it to the receiver and it resulted in a touchdown. Justin Tucker for the extra point. Footing likely going to be an issue all night here on a rainy night, but this one is good. So that one, a 13-play drive in total. And in the end, it's capped off by a seven-yard run. Tucker now to kick it away following the touchdown. And a decent return out to the 27-yard line. So back onto the field here come the Eagles for their second drive. They had the fumble on the last drive, wound up leading to the opening touchdown. Now they'll try again here, first and ten. They'll start out on the ground. It's Saquon Barkley. And he's going to lose yardage and be backed up to the 25. 
Two yards, the loss, second and 12. Part of the thinking when you bring in extra tight ends, you're hoping that each of your guys gets those one-on-one -on -one blocks and creates a crease for your runner. You know what the converse is, though? You've got to win those one-on-one -on -one blocks, and when you don't, that's the result you end up with. From the gun, it's Hurts. It's complete downfield out left to his running back. And he'll have it past midfield almost to the 40 before being taken down. A very nice pickup of 33 yards. Oftentimes now, offenses aren't nearly as precise as days gone by. They just tell receivers, find an open patch of grass and let the quarterback find you. And that's exactly what they did on that play. First with the pass through the air, nice chunk of yardage there, and then additional pickup with his legs after the catch. They'll look to throw now on first down. It's Barkley once again bringing in the catch. And he's in the return. Jack. Gain of six. It appears they found something that's working and they keep going back to it. I guess you can actually say he has the hot hands now, doesn't he? Yeah, well, it's one thing to hit your guy out of the backfield once, hit him a couple times. Yeah, you're right. Maybe they're onto something. And I think a lot of that is simply if you get it to him in space, more times than not, he's going to get more yardage than you expect out of each play. They'll get three as the drive continues. It's a first down. Well, that was a unit that understood exactly where the first down marker was, handed it to their guy who could run it, created some space, and he got there. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. He'll look to throw. There you go. He'll get just a little on the scramble in second down. Get on to the ball. Before you. After I'm one seven nine. nothing on EA Sports. Nice. Got so much. Mark and you know it's gonna win this game. I just didn't believe man. We like that after this. Now second quarter action from Philadelphia, right, and it's the Eagles yeah. in possession. From the 31, here's second and nine. It is the right. Man. As they've got it as we resume action. Oh, a quick throw. There's a quick throw caught by Smith. This will be play number seven on the drive, third and a yard. They'll set up to throw. Blitz coming and down he goes. Adafi Owe showing off the pass rush skills. You not get the first down, but you've also made things a lot more difficult on your field goal kicker. Yeah, they're still in range, but you're exactly right because you know the kicker's over there saying, thanks a lot, you just made my job a little tougher because when he kicks it now, he'll kick it lower. more distance that means there's more jeopardy for the ball to get tipped or blocked So Hertz is off, and on comes Jake Elliott for the Eagle field goal. It'll be a 49-yard attempt from the left hash. 
The kick by Elliott is good. And they are on the board, but still trailing. It's 7-3. So they're able to end that drive with three points in this one possession ball game. And ideally, you want to end every drive with points. Most quarterbacks, you tell you, let's end it with a kick, right? A PAT, that's number one. Field goal you'll take. Punts, you really don't want to do that. In this case, they'll take the field goal and get prepared for the rest of the game. After the field goal, here's Elliott to kick it away. Oh, a good return up past the 30. Baltimore is set to take over here for their second possession of the game. This drive here beginning probably with a pair of motivated grooves. Remember, the offense scored a touchdown on their last time out. Looking to repeat that in Charles' defense. They were very frustrated after giving up six the last time on the field. And frankly, it's just a battle of wills in a lot of ways because you know they're both motivated. They both game plan for this drive, and they both have specific outcomes in mind. To me, it just comes down to who can execute better and which side can step up and assert its will over the other. Jackson from the shotgun. A short throw caught by Andrews. That'll go for a gain of seven. And it's second down. Play caller does a nice job of giving him an easy throw to start this drive, and he takes advantage of it. The completion sets up a manageable second down. Second down and three. Yes. Off the option, here's Henry. And the running lane's non-existent in this first half as they'll stop him behind the line. They call that a loss of six yards. And it's third down now. They'll be in search of eight yards here as they hope to convert the first down. Now it's Jackson. Able to find the open man. That's complete. Hardy, 67 yards, and the Ravens are able to extend their lead. As a former DB, you might not like to see that, but from a wide receiver's perspective, those are the plays they dream of. Correct on both counts, <laughs> all right, because once he took off, I mean, let's face it, that should have been done in big sky country. There aren't any speed <laughs> limits out there, and off he went. Glad I wasn't the one trying to chase him. Tucker now to add the point after. And this one's right through to make it a 14-3 ball game. So they only needed three plays on that drive. And it's capped off by the Baltimore score. Fourteen to three, Lamar Jackson, another touchdown. Tucker now to kick it away following the touchdown. We'll take it up past the twenty-five to the twenty-six yard line. Well, the Eagles offense and running back Saquon Barkley ready to get going again. And he has been a big component of the passing game so far. You see the numbers for this first half. This defense is going to need to find some way to key in on him because he is eating him up right now. The Eagles offense set to begin their next drive. And this is not an easy situation. You're down early in the elements. You're on the road. How do you get the mojo back? Well, one thing is to remember that as an offensive player, you have a much better idea of what you're trying to accomplish and where you're trying to go than the defender. So in this case, because you know it, you can make your cuts with a little more decisiveness 
maybe a second fake, some double moves, things of that nature, to go ahead and try and put some pressure on the defense. Back to throw now on first down. He's got his tight end. It's Albert Okuwebunam. And taking it across midfield and inside the 45. A good gain again. That's now 31 yards combined on those last two plays. They'll look to throw here on first down. That's caught by the big tight end, Dallas Goddard. And he'll get this one down near the 20-yard line, just shy of the 20. 22 yards on the catch and run, a first down. Flag comes in. This might be a free play. Yeah, he's got it. And he Offsides on the defense. Yeah, I think that's going to stand, Offside. partner. Defense. So obviously they will decline the penalty there, and the result is six points. That penalty is declined. I'm hurt. Different touch now. On for the extra point, Jake Elliott. And he's got it. That cuts the lead. It's now 14 to 10. A drive there of just four plays. And it was finished off by a touchdown from Devontae Smith. Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. And a good return as he'll be stopped just shy of the 30-yard line. And now Baltimore gets set to take the field. Well, this offense looks like they have a little extra pep in their step. As for drive number three because remember Charles drives one and two both ended in the end zone yeah right now they've just got to be careful not to lean into overconfidence I see, I, every I drive has a life of its own but I like the way that they've started the way that they're going about doing things yeah. right now they've got That's a chance turn here to a consecutive touchdown a great game a I mean no Flowers had a great year I guess Chargers Few days ago, Eagles, Devontae Smith, the same way, had a great game. The two the touchdowns. I was not three touchdowns in my in their first in their previous game. Now in the rain, in the night. To the ten, four point game. Jackson and the Ravens come up now, first and ten, just shy of the thirty. Baltimore Philly. Let's fill it up. Here. Oh, he's gone. Andrews, Andrews had a spectacular and catch, with a one -hand grab, one -hand catch with a one-hand grab, one-hand catch. And there's a completion to the tight end. And look at the size of these players nowadays. At that spot, 6'4", 6'5", and up. A lot of guys used to be basketball players. Somehow came back to football. That's really good for the game of football. You get better athleticism, great hand-eye coordination. Guys who know how to control their bodies when they run their routes. Here's Jackson to throw. That's complete. You got it. You got it. He's still going to fly. Yeah. Zay Flowers. He's scored on the ground and through the air. And the Ravens are able to strike quickly to add on to their lead. That's a pretty quick response to that last touchdown drive, and it seemed like they had maybe given up momentum. 
Well, not so fast. No, not at all, because they end up pushing the lead up once again, and you're exactly right. Thought momentum might have been shifting. Instead, they grabbed old Mo, didn't let him get to the opposite sideline. Yeah. Who's to leave? There is so we can laugh. We. It's good, and it's 21 10. Pretty clean and simple there. Just two, two plays, plays. And the long pass it. resulting in the touchdown on play number two. It's easy, man. Easy game. Tucker now to kick it away following the touchdown. Looking bad for Philly here. Three possession touch. Two, well, two possession game. Damn. Damn. <laughs> Just across the 30. Pretty nice work on the return. Are you really getting hurt right now? Hurts. Boy. This the game. Sack. Bumble. He threw a touchdown pass last time they had it. And he'll look to get him in the end zone again here as they start with the first down. They'll try and start this drive in the air. Oh, and Hertz is going to be hit and taken down to the ground. Buried by multiple defenders on the drive's first play. Boy, that's tough, Charles. First play of the drive, you're hoping to stay ahead of schedule. You take that huge sack, and now you're facing second and a mile. And the entire time, you were probably Oops, thinking again. the same thing well, I was. Either Oops, get rid of the ball safely, right. of course. Or get... There he goes, right side. There you Devontae Smith. Wow, is it now Devontae Smith? What a touchdown. There is a flag down, but I think that's offsides on the defense. Yeah, I think that's going to stand, partner. So obviously they will decline the penalty there, and the result is six points. Elliot for the extra point. And he's got it to make this a 21-17 game. Two plays. The long touchdown seconds. Six on a very, very tiny two-play drive that time. For Hurts, two touchdowns. For Hurts, two touchdowns for Lamar Jackson. Madden tournament, Matt. And then Halloween. Here's Elliot on to kick it away. And it's a pretty good return here as he'll get this up to the 29. The Ravens offense and Lamar Jackson set ten to take for ten once again. For Jackson. And he's had things all his way in this first half. The numbers sensational as he'll look to add to him with another drive here. The Raven offense set at the line for this next drive. And thus far, the weather has not slowed this offense down one bit. They've looked good so far in the first half. They certainly have. And think back to our meeting with the head coach. And we asked him because we saw the forecast for this game, didn't Off we? Side. We said, hey, have you prepared for this? And he talked about the different drills that they've done in adverse conditions, the wet ball drills, things of that nature. He said, I don't think it's going to slow us down much. We tend to handle it pretty well. And he's been right. Baltimore with good starting field position as they come up first and 10 at the 40. And for Jackson, this may be a free play. That is... Bateman. And he takes it in the zone 
across the chalk. Now there is a flag down, but I think that's offsides on the defense. Yeah, I think that's going to stand, partner. Offsides, defense. So obviously they will decline the penalty there, and the result is six points. That penalty is declined. Tucker now for the extra point. And that one pushes the lead up to 11. Pretty clean and simple there. Just two plays, the long pass resulting in the touchdown on play number two. Time to eat the goals. So I try to try to catch up. And Ravens just keep on scoring, man. Chilling. 28 to 17, man. A spot in 46 seconds left here in the second quarter. Damn. Uh, yeah, one and all. Both teams. Mon Knight Broncos and the Saints. Sean Paxson returns to New Orleans. Mon Knight Friday Night Football. And, yeah, we got. But as it is, still a good return. They'll start the drive right around the 37. This offense ready for their upcoming series as we get a look at the former Heisman Trophy winner, Devontae Smith, making his presence felt early in this one. First half, already over the century mark. How about the yards per completion, too? That's a pretty darn good number there. Number of catches, but he's shredding defense. Is getting big yardage with each and every one of them. Flag comes in. This might be a free play. This is Smith. Now he's into the clear again. And he takes it into the end zone across the chalk. Now there is a flag down, but I think that's offsides on the defense. Yeah, I think that's going to stand, partner. Offside, defense. So obviously they will decline the penalty there, and the result is six points. That penalty is declined. Hey. 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 And the lead is down to four. It's easy points. Right. And they're able to get the connection. Go and the touchdown keep pass. it pushing. Keep it moving. And one of the easiest drive summaries you'll ever see. One play, <laughs> touchdown. One eight to 24. One this has some game back again. It's been back and forth with these quarterbacks by Jackson and Hurts. The ball down. Barkley, Henry. Now after the Had a couple down, runs in this game away. in the first, but it's been passing here in the second. And they'll get him down inside the 30 at the 27. The Ravens offense and their wideout getting set Dang to go man. once more. And Three's reception, three hard good catches, and a touchdown. Half, it has resulted in a big play, as borne out by the numbers. Number 15, ain't no this down team, baby, while well, Nelson, the former Eagles. And that offensive line are now. The Didn't even get a catch here on the other league. Set to get going. We have seen a lot of points here in this quarter. For us up here in the booth, it's been fun to watch. The defensive coordinators probably scratching their heads. Yeah, they're going a little bit crazy right now. But let's face it, all of our friends who play fantasy, <laughs> they're enjoying the out of this show because most of them are creating and getting a bunch of points. Yeah, points certainly not at a premium here. Still a few inches short of a first down as they come up now on second down. 
In motion. Aguilar. Oh, he's on it. First down. the pickup, and that's a first down. Got back at Derrick Henry. A little short pass in that first down. Just I look like eight touchdowns. Eight touchdowns. Made like well, history. Play action. That, that history already been made. What are talking about? So, oh, he got that. He's got it. Oh, the he and he's going to get this down to the 35 yard line. A good pick up there, a 22. And partner, they're locked in man coverage out left and they end up running a crossing route. Rounded it a little bit more than a slant. He's just going to angle himself towards the right side of the field, and that's very difficult for a defender to shadow him across all that ground. That first so from Philadelphia territory now, here's a first and 10 at the 35 yard line. Inside hand of Henry. And he'll fight forward on the straight ahead running for just a couple of yards, second down. The game has been everywhere. But the running game's been a little bit of a struggle. That's a surprise to me. Typically, when you can throw it, you've opened up lanes for your runners. From the 34 yard line, here's a second and eight. Here's Jackson. He finds Aguilar over the middle. A pickup of about three yards as he's taken down at the 31. They like going to him in the slot. He catches another one. I think this comes under the heading of until they stop him, why not go back to it? He has something going really well. Great working relationship. That was six. And they keep making the connection. Jackson. Safe for the way with Lamar Johnson got him. Go ahead. Get the fence, but now. And oh, he's just going to be short here. Fourth and inches. Maybe by a half a foot. It'll be fourth and inches. Well, it wasn't a big strike, but that completion put them in really great range. What do we have now? Fourth and inches? Yeah, it's not more than a half a foot. For you know what I would do here? You would always go. I'm, I'm one of those. A bunch guys. of pussies. You ready to go for it? First down. And he's able to motor his way down to the 16 yard line. Okay. That's a fourth down pickup of 10 yards and an opportunity certainly missed on the defensive side. They only needed about four or five inches there, relied on the big guys up front and got it done. Yeah, this is the time to just go ahead and hit it straight ahead. No juking, right? No movement in the backfield. Take the ball and go. As I heard a coach tell a player a long time ago, save your dancing for the club, son. Just get up into that line of scrimmage. So this offense able to convert on fourth, and now a fresh set of downs here, first and ten. Jackson now. That is caught. It's Bateman for a Raven touchdown. Rashad Bateman with his second touchdown here in this first half. And the Ravens are able to widen their advantage. So the numbers are starting to pile up here early on. We have yet to reach halftime, yet that is already now four touchdown passes. Not the touchdown. 42 minute warning. Yeah, he's a busy man. Five for five now as he knocks another one through to extend the lead. And so that one play score. drive, it spans 75 yards. And it's Rashad Bateman who finished it all off with a touchdown. <laughs> Tucker now to kick it away following the touchdown. Jenkins, who is currently on the show. 
As this drive will start at the 25-yard line. It's Devontae Smith and the Eagles ready to go on offense. He's probably someone they want to get more involved at this point. Second quarter down to the scoreboard, and you know that he can be a threat. And because he's such a threat, as well as so productive, I'm with you on this. They've got to get him the ball more, give him more opportunities for them to have a chance to erase that lead. Certainly they'll be looking to get him even more in the mix this go-around. Complete. Smith has it. Oh, shit. Now he's loose again. Touchdown. Devontae Smith on his way to a historic performance. Four first-half touchdowns. And the Eagles are able to strike quickly here as they are in for six. So that one is four touchdown catch of the game. One behind the all-time five. Yeah. Call from Nick Sirianni. Let's go for two here, he says. Hertz will throw. Rolling to his right. And he'll get in for the two points. Deficit down to just a field goal. And with a successful two point try, the QB rolling out, I would imagine, on the defense, that makes it tough. When you, he goes out, he's got the option to run or pass. Yeah, it really does. If you decide not to bring extra people or extra pressure, maybe you have to have a spy on the quarterback, someone to account for him, because oftentimes that is the unaccounted for player. You're getting big fun there. Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. And able to get this out to the 25. The Ravens offense and their quarterback headed out for this next possession. Oh my He's done everything he could have asked for coming in. He's spread it around. He hasn't taken many chances. And he's potentially on his way to a big game throwing the football. The Raven offense set at the line for this next drive. And they'll just simply be looking at the confidence of the last time. And confidence is powerful, isn't it? When you've scored once, you feel like you can go back out there and get it done again. Doesn't matter what the defense throws at them. They feel like they're in a groove right now, and they want to get out there and show it. Yeah, hoping to stay in that groove here this go around. Not able to go anywhere that time. Second down. Let's just make this one simple. Could he be any more open than he was on that play? Yeah, they lost him going to the outside. Hard to believe because you go through your accounting on each and every defensive snap. Who's got who? What, what defense you're in? That was totally a blown coverage. Second and ten. I got it. Come on, walk. Oh, he got it. Look at that. Flowers, and they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. Good work after the catch. Gets him 15 and a first down. So many times in my career, I've heard coaches talk about completions are one thing, but as long as we're there at the catch and we get guys on the ground, we can live with that. But if you're going to give up 10, 12, 15 yards after the catch, then your defense is going to be in a lot of trouble. Jackson throwing quickly for Mike Andrews. Call it a gain of six on the play, and it'll be second down. And there wasn't much room for the big tight end to do much after the catch. But at least he was able to pick up a solid gain to help his offense continue to move in the right direction. Here now, second and four. It's a lot of timeouts. There's a lot of timeouts. Oh, snap. Yeah. Yeah, 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 push it. I'm about to now the Ravens going to use one of their timeouts as he'll stop it with exactly a minute to go before halftime. Oh, I'm up for the Ravens, man. Three point game. 32, man. Hurts. 
with being a jackass, he's still a jackass, he's still trash. Got that two point conversion for it to be a three point guy. Lots of things, what a game for him in this Halloween night, man. Halloween history, man. Four touchdowns here tonight. Oh, God. He got it. Oh, my God. Yeah, that's good for a gain of six, and that'll make it second down. Brandon Prime defense got the first. Ray was gonna call a timeout. Yeah, so this is gonna really enjoy that the time go down. Stayed in sync, stayed in great communication, and as he dragged across each zone, oh, no. you see a point in communication. He slipped. I believe I don't know. Here's the oh, that hell happened. But Henry with the rock. Get that first. And time out. Get ready. Get these three points. Head out. Go for the half time. Half time show. I bring back the, the, the call it now it's Jackson. slashy boys. Oh, they have good tackle. Too much this time. Down he goes. Give that sack to the Kobe D. So this has been a lot like a tennis match. He's disrespecting them too. Both these offenses have to stay down. So Don't get up. Don't go to sleep. Points in this game. Maybe it's who's going to get some stops. Yeah, absolutely. And that sack finally a first step in the right direction for a stop. And they line up now for what will likely be the last play of the first half. Now whistles and a timeout with three seconds left in the first half. So three seconds here remain in the half on as the field goal unit to see about getting three points. From there, hell no. And this one will not get there. It's off to the left anyway. It's yes. so good. So we've reached halftime here on Halloween. And trust me, kids, if you had to look at Charles Davis every game, you'd think every day was Halloween. As we'll send you down the coast now to Orlando, that's where we find Jonathan Coachman ready with our EA Sports halftime report. Coach. The first half belonged to the reigning NFL most valuable player, number eight, Lamar Jackson. He's over 300 yards passing already as he's looking to possibly put his name in the record book. Okay, coach, yeah, adjustments likely going to play a big role in this third quarter in what's been a tight contest so far. Forecast calling for more of the same. Yeah, the Ravens going to continue kick off. as we are underway in the second half. And he'll be stopped up at the 25. Kick off the second half. The visitors' offense and All the back set to take the field once more. Sorry. And as we show you some Ravens, of the highlights, they didn't get no points at, at all. In the end, though, got all lead. these points as he looks from to the beginning. And 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 that. In that second quarter in that first half. And get that field off. 35 32. Back and forth again, just had to spin with the game. Already. The Baltimore the offense game. at the line Crazy. set to get going. Second quarter. As this offense takes the field to begin the opening drive of the second just half, Charles getting Remember started. That Good through the air, all around. Henry. Outstanding offensive performance. Absolutely, they reached the end zone several times. The passing game working awfully well. And most importantly, partner. And yeah, they went to the tunnel with a the lead. They come back out with that lead. Absolutely. NFL coaches, we know they're perfectionists in a lot of ways, but they had to like what they saw in that first half. Here's second and seven now from the 28. Now Jackson. Stay in the pocket, Jackson. He'll be hit down at the 33, five yards on the play. 
off, partner, just a second earlier, and they might have had him because they certainly thought they were going to close in and drop him behind the line of scrimmage, but he had just enough time to dodge the pressure, and he ends up getting yardage before being stopped. They'll come to the line, needing only two yards to gain the first here. Jackson from the shotgun. That's my first. In the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he will have a Ravens first down, and he's going to have it by plenty. Able to get eight yards there on third and two. Got to say, I was a little surprised to see him, Charles, come out in the shotgun on third and less than a yard. Yeah, but the way the NFL is nowadays, we hardly ever see anyone really run for it on short yardage. So they're going to throw the football more times than not. That was a nice, easy rhythm throw right there, and they pick up the first down. In motion left, Flowers. They go play action now, Jackson. And it's nearly an interception, but it's incomplete. A turnover really would have helped him there, but not to be. Zone coverage there, and they were playing deep. That makes it obviously a little bit harder to run by guys. And that time, there's not much of a window to get the ball in there, and it winds up incomplete. They go play action with Jackson. He's got his man. It's Andrews. And some space here. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. Good yardage after the catch. Is that play good for 30 and a first? <laughs> well, this game has certainly had no shortage of offense. Both teams have been revved up from the start. And here's yet another big play. Boy, both defenses have just got to be dragging out there because they've been run ragged throughout. So from Philadelphia territory now, here's a first and 10 as they're down to the 29-yard line. Henry out of the pistol. And now they're going to get him down right at the line of scrimmage. The tackle by N'Kobe Dean. As usual, the hallmark of a good run defense. Linebackers making plays near the line of scrimmage. Absolutely nowhere to run there. This is a Now it's second yeah. and ten. Get the fuck. I'm going to a Jackson. Oh my gosh, she's going to run. Oh my gosh. Only a yard there on the keeper, and that's going to leave him with a third down. This has been an up and down, back and forth type of a game, hasn't it? Maybe this long drive take a little bit of the wind out of their sails, kind of settle things down a little bit. That's his role. Now play number eight on this drive, and they need nine yards to pick up the first on third. Now it's Jackson. It's complete. This is Derek Henry. And he has another first down as he'll get the ball down to the Eagles' 12-yard line. It's a pickup of 15 and a fresh set of downs. Whatever the discussions were at halftime to try to slow down this offense, it has not worked to this point. Yeah, I have a vision right now of everything that was discussed at the half just being torn in shreds or being erased off of the Microsoft Surface tablets because none of it is working. They are really locked in on offense. Here's Jackson to throw. And it's caught. And the Ravens are looking at first and goal as he's tackled all the way down at the two-yard line. Just picking up yardage in bunches here. These last few plays, they have moved right down the field. And just like that, they're going to be set up with a first and goal. Henry will take this into the end zone. It's a Ravens touchdown. He finishes off the drive with a touchdown run, Charles. Remember, he also had a catch on this drive as well. And that's what running backs want to be in today's NFL, a complete back. Three downs, stay on the field, run it, and catch it. And he gets it done. Now Tucker to add the PAT. And his guys will take a 10-point lead. So the drive goes 75 yards, 10 plays. And Derrick Henry able to finish it off with a touchdown run.
Tucker now to kick it away following the touchdown. And out a little across the 25 to the 27. The Eagle and Hurts ready to take over once more. And he's been a nightmare to scheme against throughout this one. This defense has been totally taken apart, and that is borne out in his numbers. He's been terrific all game long.